Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. Um, Quick Hits comes at you every day, twice a day. Uh, Not anymore, it comes at you once a day. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 10 minutes a day. Um, All right, guys, let's get into today's show. We got a fun show. We're going to start doing reviews, just breaking down some fighters. I wanted to do today's show on Xander Zayas, sensational teenage Puerto Rican standout prospect, one of the best young prospects in the sport. Um. Really, really phenomenal. You know, now, he came, started as well to win out that division already. He's at 154. Xander Zayas, um, I mean, special fighter. Not Nothing to dislike about this guy. He's that good. Uh, look at it, dude. I mean, um, you know, this flaws defensively. Uh, offensively, I mean, finding a flaw with this guy is pretty slim pickings. I mean, offensively, th- this guy is it. Um he, this guy really is it offensively. Um, and, and I want to get to that. I have some notes here. I'm going to read the notes. We're going to go over. We're going to break down a little Xander Zayas. Um, terrific boxer puncher. Um, reminds me, and, and there's a natural, and it's not a, 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 a bad comparison, but there's a natural comparison to Tito Trinidad. And that's fine, right? I mean, they're both tall, Puerto Rican, 154-pounders, right? And I know Tito Started at 147 uh, with, with great power. And and I see, and that's a fucking comparison. I, I see a young Danny Jacobs. A Danny Jacobs on the come up that was knocking everybody out. That's kind of what I see in him, right? He's tall for the weight class. Um, he's got a great jab. He can sit and he can win rounds. He can sit in the pocket and I'll box you. He can sit there and beat you with the jab, jab, right hand. Like, he can do that. Uh, but what makes him special is he can do that, and then he can come forward. Um, he can come forward and then just destroy you. So he can destroy you. Um, so, I mean, yes, yeah, yeah, so I see a comparison to Trina. I, I also see, I think a better comparison is is a young Danny Jacobs. Um, like I said, he can sit in the pocket and, 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 and fire the jab. He's got a good jab. It's a shotgun jab. Uh, he brings it back nice. Um, and then he can, when he wants, he can walk you down and blow you away. Now, he fought Dan Capenzi, Capenzi who comes from a fighting family. Look, he's an opponent. Um, I, I want to see going into next year now. I know they said they might get Zayas to fight one more time this year. We'll see. Uh, what, what I want to see him go into 2022 is really picking up the level of opposition um, and, and, and fighting better 150. Fight Spike Sullivan. Fight, fight someone like that. Bazooka DeLuca, I know they use. Fight guys like that. A little bit more established, a little bit better fighters. And, and let's see how you do with those guys. Um, again, he, like, like Trina, he's got a great left hook. But what I think makes him special is the straight right hand. The straight right hand is a bombshell. He throws it to the head and the body. Now, something I did know is when he throws it to the body, he's a little lazy bringing it back up. He's a little lazy bringing it back up. Um, the only flaws I see in him right now are defensively. Uh, he can be countered. When he goes to the body, you can time it, you can come over it, um, and you can counter it when he throws that right hand to the body because he doesn't bring his glove back up. He keeps his hand kind of low. He also doesn't really slip a lot of shots, right? Like, he, he fights out of the high guard. He's, he, he's responsible for the most part, um, but he is kind of a stationary target in the sense he doesn't move his head. So you can pick him. You can you, – if you can jab with him, I, I I think you can have some, you know, um, moments where you can you can land right hands with him. I think you can sit there and land right hands, land right hands with him. Um, again, at the highest level, at, at this level, at the Derek Carpenter level, even at the next level, where I said you said Bazooka Deluca, and, and you know, um, Spike or something, those type of guys. No, he'll he'll have a field day with those type of guys. Um, 154 is a nice division with him and Charles uh, Conwell. Like, this is a good prospect at 154. And Jose, uh, Jesus Ramos this is really, really good prospects at 154. Um, 
they're both they're all really good. Um again, he stays straight up and down and, and, and he stalks. Um like he said he goes to the body well. He just I I think he is a little, little lazy, a little sloppy with bringing the right hand back up after he throws the right hand to the body. Um, he throws good combinations. Like he's really good at picking up the pace and picking his shots when he sees his opponents hurt. Um, he's got good hand speed and he throws really clean combinations. Um, I, I want to see a little more combination punching because he does it really well. Um, I, again, his volume is good. Right, and it's consistent, but I so I don't have a problem with his volume. Um, but I, I I do want to see him throw more combinations, do it more often, right? Um, like I said he goes to the body well, he doesn't do it enough, he does it in spots, and then he comes away, he goes away from it. Um, so I mean, those were kind of the, the things that I the only knocks I have on him is again, he's a little lazy bringing that right hand up when he throws it to the body, can be countered. Um, he doesn't move. His head a lot. He doesn't really slip off center line. Um, he, he pretty much comes right at you. And he needs to because he can box really well from from the pocket. He's got to move his head down to make you miss. And when he's coming in and walking you down, uh, again, he a good fighter is going to stand there and fire back at him. I think he can be had with a right hand. So it's a little, little bit there, a little bit with a head movement. And then the other thing, I just think he needs to do more of it. He needs to go to the body more because he does it really well. Um, he needs to throw a little bit more in combination. Um, and not not just when he has his opponent hurt, but whenever um, he's walking you down, it's kind of one punch at a time. So right hand, uh, left hook to the body, throw it up, jab, you know, three, four punches at a time, and he can really walk you down and, and get you into the ropes and really tee off on you. He's accurate. He's really accurate with his combination, right? He's really accurate with his power shots. He's going to be a guy who, when you look at it, he's going to have, you know, a lot of, where he's landing 40, 50% of his power shots at high levels. Because, again, this kid's only 19. He's the youngest guy I think Top Rank has ever signed. So you, you can see that they like him, and you can see what they like in him. Um, There's a lot. There's a lot to him. Now, like I said, 154, loaded division, especially loaded with young prospects, young fighters with Ramos, um, and, and, and Charles Conwell, there's a lot of good fighters in this division. He fits in nicely with them. Um, but, again, to get to a world title with those guys, and he'll probably eventually do Like I said, he's 19. I'd be shocked if he went through his entire career and never won a world, world title. Um, but there's really good fighters in that weight class. Um, and, you know, I, I think with his height and size, he can move up. He can fight at middleweight someday, maybe 168. Um, again, and, and the hand speed is good. Um the hand speed is good in it. So there's nothing I would say that is like his Achilles heel, which is going to get him destroyed. Like he's, he's pretty complete. He can fight in all three ranges. Um, he can throw combinations. He can jab while he does. I mean, there's not much to dislike about Xander Zayas. Um, you know, I, I think and then eventually he can move up and wait with his size and reach. But let me know what you guys think. Are you high on, on um, Xander Zayas? Um, where do you think he ranks in the 154 pound division with, the, with those younger prospects that I mentioned? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please let me, uh, please follow me, uh, and subscribe to this channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Share it, uh, all forms. Also, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, completely dedicated to uh, autism research and recovery. Please like and subscribe to that channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds, like I said, go to autism research and recovery. It's near and dear to our heart. It is October 25th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in. Let's get Iron Boy in. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.